Robert Mugabe's grip on power appears to be tightening once again. The 86-year-old, whose rule in Zimbabwe began one year before that of Husni Mubarak in Egypt, wants new elections to take place by June, two years ahead of schedule. He hopes to be rid of his uneasy alliance with Prime Minister Morgan Trangarai, with whom he's reluctantly shared power since 2009. But Trangarai supporters say the elections would not be legitimate. I don't think they actually said we would want an election today with an environment that we are staying in in Zimbabwe as of now. If you look at the, the basic environment that we have in Zimbabwe, it does not warrant any 1% of a free and fair election. Mugabe's opponents fear the vote will be rigged. Some NGOs say the electoral register isn't reliable and contains the names of people long dead or children as young as two. The Zimbabwean voter is basically saying, will I be safe if I vote the way I've, I so choose to vote? Uh, what happens after uh, I, I vote? Will, will my view of vote, if it's in the majority, be respected by those that are either in power at the moment or those that have shown tendencies to want to retain power? regardless of whether they win or lose. 2008's disputed parliamentary elections were followed by mass violence, which left at least 160 people dead. Under the terms of the power-sharing agreement, the two sides were supposed to draft a new constitution to ensure a fairer media and freer elections. Trangarai's Movement for Democratic Change Party says those reforms have to be completed before elections can take place. We are saying there should be fundamental freedoms of movement, association and assembly by candidates, by citizens, and that there should be also be media, a liberalisation of the media, particularly for political parties to contest, uh, who are contesting at least they should have access to the media and equitable coverage of the media. A recent upsurge in violence by Mugabe supporters has alarmed Western governments and raised fears of another crackdown by one of Africa's longest-serving rulers.